The secret month of Allah has arrived. 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 Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Anbiya wal Mursaleen. Amma ba'd. فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers of Madhuri Channel, welcome to the Silsila. In this episode we will learn about the blessings of fasting in the month of Rajab. What are the rewards of fasting in the month of Rajab? And inshallah Azzawajal will make some good intentions about keeping fast in this beautiful month. Let's start by learning about the virtue of reciting Salat upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is mentioned to have said that the one who reads 200 Salawat upon me on a Friday, 200 years of his sins will be forgiven. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So my dear viewers, Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala has narrated that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has stated in paradise there is a river called Rajab whose water is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. Whoever performs one fast of Rajab, Allah Azza wa Jal will make him drink from the water of this river. SubhanAllah, just imagine that river that we will have in Jannah. We see the rivers of the dunya, the water and the dirty waters we don't even see many blue rivers anymore. They look black. But just imagine this river in Jannah which will be whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. The one who keeps one fast in the month of Rajab will be able to drink from this. Subhanallah. The Tabi Saint Sayyidina Abu Kilaba radiallahu ta'ala has stated there is a palace in paradise for those who fast in Rajab. Paradise for those people who fast in Rajab. Sayyidina Anas radiallahu ta'ala has reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, whoever performs one fast in the month of Rajab, it will be like fasting for one year. Whoever performs seven fasts, seven doors of hell will be closed for that person. And whoever performs eight fasts, eight doors of heaven will be opened for him. Whoever performs ten fasts, Allah azza wa will grant him whatever he asks for. And whomever performs fifteen fasts, a caller announces, your previous sins have been forgiven, so start deeds afresh, as your evil deeds have been replaced with good deeds. Subhanallah, my dear Islamic brothers and views of Madhuri channel, what a beautiful way for us for our sins to be removed. Fifteen fasts, now the days are very short. It's just like missing a lunch for us. If you take out your breakfast time and your dinner time, it's just miss skipping one meal. And look at the rewards, drinking from these beautiful rivers, palaces, our sins being forgiven, it's like starting afresh again, just by fasting. And in these short days, it's very easy for us in the Western world to fast at this time. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sayyidina Abdul Haq Muhaddi Sadeeru rahmatullah alayhi has narrated the following hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rajab is a month amongst the months of hurma, sacredness. And his days are inscribed on the door of the sixth sky. If a person fasts for one day in Rajab and completes it with piety, then that door and that day in which he fasted will seek forgiveness from him from Allah Azza wa Jal. And that door and that day will say, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, forgive this servant. If the person fasts without observing piety, that door and that day will not seek forgiveness for him. And they will say to him, your nafs has betrayed you. So whenever we keep this nafal fast, we must do it with piety, with the right intentions. For the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. Not for showing off to people and telling people, Oh, I kept a fast today. You might see some people who say, Oh yeah, you know, I've got a fast today. But remember, <clears throat> fasting is a secret form of worship. Only you and Allah know that you are fasting. Until you tell somebody that you're fasting. That's why it's such a beautiful act and such a beautiful ibadah for fasting. So keep it a secret for as long as you can. You don't have to tell people piety, sincerity. For the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal, inshaAllah Azza wa Jal. Let's go learn some hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about fasting. Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala has stated 
Whosoever fasts on the 27th of Rajab, Allah will record the reward of 60 months worth of fasting for him. 60 months, 5 years worth of ibadah for 1 day worth of fasting. Subhanallah. Can you imagine the rewards? The previous rewards you have said and these rewards, amazing. To make an intention that inshallah, the remaining days of this month of Rajab, we will also fast as well. For the pleasure of Allah for the forgiveness of our sins, to get the barakah and blessings from Allah once Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam passed by an enlightened mountain and requested in the court of Allah Azza wa Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give this mountain, this enlightened mountain, the ability to speak. The mountain then spoke, O Ruhullah, what do you want? The Prophet alayhi salam replied, tell me about your state. The mountain said, a person lives inside me. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam then requested in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, Make him apparent to me. All of a sudden, the mountain split up and the saint with a face shining like the moon emerged from it. The man said, I am the follower of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. I made dua to Allah azawajal to keep me alive until the advent of the last Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, so that I can gain the honor of seeing him and so I can attain the privilege of being his ummati. I have been worshipping Allah azawajal for 600 years. SubhanAllah, 600 years this person has been worshipping, waiting for the last Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So then Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam asked, Ya Allah azza wa jal, is there anyone more honorable to you on this earth than this servant of yours? That this person who has been in this mountain for 600 years, is there anybody more honorable? But dear viewers, think to yourself, who could be more honorable than somebody worshipping for 600 years? Allah azza wa jal replied, O oh Isa alayhi salam, Whoever from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fasts for a single day in the month of Rajab, he is more honorable to me than this person in this mountain. Look at the blessing Allah Azza has bestowed upon the Ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So let's make some good intentions inshaAllah Azza that we will also fast in this beautiful month of Rajab to gain the blessings for the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Inshallah may Allah give us all the ability to drink from that river whose color is whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. And give us these paradises in Jannah, inshaAllah. The beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has stated, No doubt Rajab is a month of greatness, as a reward of good deeds is increased in this month. Whoever fasts on any day of Rajab, it is as if he has fasted the entire year. So one year's worth of fasting if you fast one day in Rajab. SubhanAllah. And then on the 27th you get extra reward. So why are we not making the intention of fasting? You make the intention, inshallah, I will make the intention that however many days that are left in Rajab, we will fast, inshallah, as, well, as much as we can. At least two, three, four days we should have fasted in this month as well to get this much reward. And how hard is it for us to fast a whole year? It's very difficult. Very few of us can do that. By fasting of one day in Rajab is like the reward of fasting the whole year. Sayyidina Abu Kilaba, rahmatullahi states, there is a palace in paradise for those who fast in Rajab. Sayyidina Sufyan Sauri states that I prefer to fast in the four sacred months. And listen to this beautiful event carefully. It is reported that when a third of the first night of Juma of Rajab passes, there is no angel remains except that they all supplicate for the forgiveness of those who fast in the month of Rajab. SubhanAllah, angels Pray for that person. We pray for forgiveness for that person who fasts in Rajab. So we should also make a habit, make an intention that we will also fast in Rajab, inshaAllah. Sheikh Ziauddin Abdul Aziz Dirani Rahmatullah states, it is reported that whoever fasts seven days of Rajab, the doors of hell are closed for him. Whoever fasts ten days, Allah Almighty will grant him whatever he wishes for. And no doubt, there is such a place in paradise that the earth is like a bird's nest compared to it. Only those who fast in Rajab will enter it. SubhanAllah, the earth is like a bird's nest compared to that palace which the person will get who fasts in the month of Rajab. And as I said, the days are very short. This can easily be done. Look at this, just imagine. When we go into Jannah and we see our palace for fasting Rajab. And we drink from those rivers which are whiter than milk and sweeter than honey. That's the life that we want. That's what we all work, to work more towards. 
in the dunya will never get that. No, you will never get that that big mansion which is which the earth is like a, a pigeon's nest to it. You will never get a drink from them kind of rivers, because this earth, my dear viewers of Malaysia, is a test for us. It has been mentioned that the dunya is like a prison for a believer. We are restricted to what we can see. Don't eat this. Don't drink this. Don't go there. Don't wear this. Don't listen to this. You know how much are we restricted? And for the non-believers, this is like 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 a paradise for them. They do what they want. They can eat what they want. They drink what they want. They can eat what they want. They can wear what they want. They can go with with, their, with whoever they want. Why? Because our paradise is waiting somewhere else for us. Our paradise is in the future. Our paradise is in the akhirah for us. We have better in our future. Our future is bright, inshallah azza wa jal. So make an intention that inshallah azza wa jal will fast the remaining days in Rajab. That will fast inshallah azza wa jal. Also, my dear viewers of my channel, Alhamdulillah, if we make a habit of start to fast now, not only will we get the rewards of fasting Rajab, which we have been mentioned, but this will prepare us for Ramadan as well. It will make the fasting Ramadan a lot easier for us. So, for example, if we kept ten or fifteen fasts in Rajab, ten or fifteen into Shaaban, and then when Ramadan comes, our bodies will be used to it, and Ramadan will be easy for us. The issue many of us have is that when the month of Ramadan comes, the first Five or ten fasts are very difficult because it's been a whole year since we fasted, and our bodies are not used to it. As if we start from now, build it up, get our bodies used to fasting, then inshallah, as well, we will see Ramadan will be very easy. We will enjoy Ramadan. We can do more ibadat in Ramadan as well. So these months are a build-up, a training session for us towards Ramadan to improve our Ramadan and our spirituality. And you will see that the one who has a habit of fasting, voluntary fast. His health would be good. He will have more uh, the physical strength. These there are many scientific benefits of fasting as well. So don't just leave fasting to Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would fast every Monday. So this is showing us, and he is the best role model for us that we should copy the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. His sira, his life. He is the ideal for us, the role model for us. We should teach our children. Again, I say this time and time again. How many of us teach our children about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? We read so many story books and other fiction books and non-fiction books and these character books and cartoon magazines. We put them in our children's hands. How much do we teach them about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Our children know about the footballers, the cricketers, the pop stars, the TV stars, the racing drivers, the politicians, the famous people, the business people. But how many of us, our children, know about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Before we go on to our children, how many of us know about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? If somebody asked us that, how many wives did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have? How many children did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam have? Do we know the answer to these questions? Basic questions. If we don't, then it's cause for concern to us. This is the beautiful month of Rajab, the month of Allah azza wa jal. Come back to your deen. Come back to Islam. Come back and learn. Get that jazba inside you. Get that enthusiasm inside you. That this month. Inshallah, I will change my life. Whatever happens in the dunya can carry on. I want to improve myself in my deed. If you want spirituality, if you want peace, if you want calmness, if you want your, yourself to be in control, come and learn about your deed. Give some time. Make yourself a daily timetable that this is my time for my deed, where I will go and I will learn in my deed, and I will keep voluntary fasts. Inshallah, so that you will see the benefit. Of it in the dunya and in the akhirah as well. So make an intention. However many many days are left in Rajab, we will fast. However many days, inshallah, so we can impossible in Shaaban, and then obviously it's far to fast the whole of Ramadan. I pray to Allah Azza wa Jal, whatever we have learned today, may we act upon it, may we pass it on to others as well. Inshallah, Azza wa Jal, I will see you in the next episode. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu taala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The sacred month of Allah has arrived. The sacred month of Allah has arrived. The sacred month of Allah has arrived. The sacred month of Allah has arrived.